Benefits of Cycling as Exercise There are so many different types of exercise out there, it can be hard to decide on a new one. Whether you prefer to take classes at the gym or get out and enjoy the great outdoors, cycling is a great option for a variety of reasons. Are you thinking about getting a bike but not sure what the benefits are? How does it compare to other exercises like jogging or swimming? In this video, we'll look at the benefits of cycling as exercise and why it's one of the best options out there for you to start today. Anyone can ride a bike if they learn, and there are options for every terrain out there. If it's all about speed on the road, a road bike is a good way to go. If you want to cycle in the country, why not get a mountain bike? If you're not sure which type of bike is best, a hybrid will put up with most terrains easily. Cycling is good for cutting fat and building muscle. The main reason we exercise is to stay in shape. Well, cycling will keep you trim, cutting fat while building muscle. It's also an aerobic exercise, the type that makes your heart pump faster and the blood rush around your body. This burns calories and in the process, fat. Because you are using your legs, you'll feel the burn there most and see a change in your muscles as they become more defined. Not just that, cycling also works your core so you'll notice a difference all over your body. Cycling is also great for the mind. Not only is cycling great for your body, but it's also great for your mental health. Like all exercise, it's good for stress and anxiety, as when you exercise, your body releases happy hormones called endorphins. As these are released, you're likely to feel less stressed out. Unlike some other exercises, it's also very relaxing and can be done at any pace so most people can get involved no matter how well they feel. It's also been shown by some scientists that working out outside rather than inside is better for your overall mental health, so it's a powerhouse for your mental well-being. You can make it as difficult as you like. If you're new to exercise, it's the perfect introduction as you can cycle as slowly as you like. If you're a fitness junkie, why not sign up for a spin class to build your endurance and push yourself to the limit? With so many options for cycling, it's easy to become better and push yourself further each time that you're on the bike, inside or out. Cycling even cuts heart and lung disease risk. Because cycling is an aerobic exercise, it gets your heart beating faster and your lungs open, strengthening your cardiovascular fitness. As your heart and lungs get stronger, they will be able to more efficiently transport oxygen around the body. In time, your resting heart rate will decrease and your blood pressure and fat levels will go down too. These will all reduce your risk of heart disease. Even if you just cycle two to three times a week for 30 minutes at a time, this will dramatically help your cardio health, keeping your lungs and heart in tip-top shape. Cycling burns more calories than running. Although cycling feels less strenuous than running, it actually burns more calories in a shorter amount of time. This is because it engages more muscles than running does alone. Not only does it work your legs, but it also uses your core. Cycling between 12 and 14 miles per hour for half an hour can burn around 350 calories. Running for the same amount of time only burns 300 calories. So, if it's all about using up those calories, cycling is the best option for you. It's a low-impact exercise too. One of the best things about cycling is that it's low impact when compared to other sports, meaning that there is less strain put on your joints. Injury rates are higher in exercises such as running as they are high impact. Cycling, on the other hand, doesn't pose the same threat to joints or muscles because of the flowing motions involved in pedaling. This means that no matter what your age or fitness level, cycling is a great option. If you are injured from another sport, then cycling can be a great way to build up your strength again staying fit while being easy on your joints and muscles. It's good for the environment. Whereas other sports make you sweaty and in need of a shower, cycling can be done at a leisurely pace on the way to work, which saves time. It also helps the environment as you ditch the car and pedal to work, not only saving you money, but also reducing your CO2 footprint. Short car journeys account for a huge percentage of the world's pollution, whether that's in the car or on the bus. Being stationary in traffic also wastes your time, but on the bike, you can sail right through the traffic and get to work quickly and guilt-free. Cycling makes you sleep better. As with most cardio exercise, cycling is great for tiring you out and therefore letting you drift off to sleep easier than if you hadn't exercised at all. 
Researchers at the University of Georgia studied a group of people over 35 years and found that a drop in fitness as low as 2% caused sleep problems. The best way to keep up with a good night's sleep is to add regular fitness into the mix. Again, it could be the reduction in stress caused by cycling that makes it a fantastic sleep aid, or just that you're puffed out after a good long ride. Whatever the reason, it's a great addition to help elevate your sleep. No matter what the reason for getting on your bike, we bet you didn't know all these brilliant benefits of cycling. By cycling for just 30 minutes, two to three times a week, you can lower your risk of obesity, heart disease, and help with the fight against climate change. Let us know in the comments what your favorite reasons for cycling are. Are there any benefits that we haven't mentioned? If you want to learn more about different types of exercise, why not check out our top exercises for weight loss video over here. Until next time!